All right, guys, welcome back. I'm the Cosmic Cop. Today we're going to be doing another GIMP project. Um, the, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do in GIMP, which is to make a lightsaber. Who hasn't ever wanted to take a picture of themselves and um, make it look like you're holding a real lightsaber? So that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to show you how to create a lightsaber effect. So first you need a basic picture. You can take a picture of yourself or um, I don't know why you'd want to do it of someone else. But if you wanted to, you could. So I'm going to be using a picture of Liam Neeson who plays Qui-Gon Jinn in Star Wars. And I'm going to, um, it's basically an unedited picture from the film. Um, it doesn't have the lightsaber effect. If you want to use the same picture I'm using, you can find it in the description below. So get your image. Alright, so here we are, open up a GIMP, and so yeah, you can see there's not actually a blade on there, that's just a stick basically, but we're going to change that. So, first things, first thing first, go over to this layer over here, right click, new layer, foreground color, which should be black, click OK. You put this on screen mode, okay? Basically, the screen mode will mark everything as uh, basically basically the foreground color will be alpha. So I can draw. I can uh, whoops. Use any other color and draw over this, um, but you can't have. But black is basically alpha. On this layer. So now what we want to do is we want to select the area where we want the main white bar of the lightsaber. So we're going to use the free select tool and we're going to select whoops, this area. Okay, so we have that area selected. Now we're going to switch colors to white grab a big brush and color that all white okay now you can select none and then um, we're going to duplicate this layer three times yeah three times okay and then you select the first one and you go to filters blur gaussian blur Five and five is fine. Click OK. Then you're gonna do the second one. You go filters, blur, Gaussian blur. This time it's gonna be twenty. Make sure it's on both of them. Click OK. Now you're gonna go to the third one. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Forty on both of them. Now some people like to stop here, but I think I want to make my saber a little bit brighter and fuller. So we're gonna take this last one and duplicate it again. I think that's sufficient. So now we're going to right click on the top layer, merge down, screen. You're going to do this all the way down until you only have one lightsaber layer. Merge down, screen, merge down, screen, merge down, screen. All right, now we just have this one lightsaber layer. Now comes the very last step and the most satisfying part. Go to colors, color balance, and then you can choose what color lightsaber to have here. So if you want a blue lightsaber, all you need to do is set the all the way to blue. Go to the highlights tab, set it all the way to blue. Go to the shadows, set it all the way to blue. You want a yellow lightsaber for whatever reason. Set them all to yellow. It looks very accurate. Um, and it looks really cool. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and right here show you through all the different color combinations. Green, magenta, cyan, and red. Um, of course, all different mixtures of colors are available. Um, you can certainly feel free to mix or to uh, mess around with that color balance to get exactly the shade you're looking for. Um, not to be confused with the drawers you're looking for. But, um, yeah, 
then the very last step is just to click OK and then if you want to you can merge that down and export it as a .png file. So that concludes our episode. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and go out there and have fun making lightsabers. See you all next time. Bye.